Hello guys, welcome back to new episode of Dishonored Gameplay. This is Mr. Dimis and this is uh, not the last but second last episode of Dishonored. It appears to be that we are back in Houndwitz pub area and there's uh, Cecilia. B but before we are gonna continue, I'm gonna grab a sip on my hot coffee. Damn, it's good. Alright. Let's say hello to the Cecilia. Please, no. Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. I would guess. I called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Callista, he shot in the back with his pistol. Poor Callista. Emily saw it all. Poor Emily. Emily. Yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I would guess so. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself and died. Lydia was the tough cookie. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. Oh. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. Oh, really? I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Bastards. Bastards they are. Have a look. Over Sir Martin and that coward Pendleton. Okay. You're out of your lines. Okay, we have full elixir and nine Sokol of Health elixirs. Alright. We are good to go. Is there anything extra here? No. Let's, let's take these keys on the wall. What a day, huh? Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last coronation. If we even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. Oh shit, there's a tall boy. Poison thrown in the river. He asked me he's long gone. The mask in the river. What a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the culprit girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? He's waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on, creeping closer and closer, ever closer. <laughs> Closer and closer. <clears throat> Attention Dunwall citizens. Hiram Burroughs, formerly the Lord Regent, has confessed to heinous crimes against the people of Dunwall. He shall be confined to the Coldridge Prison. Until the proper authorities decide Things are bad. his sentence. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. It's time to take down that big tall boy. 
When taking down these tall boys, they are gonna make lots of noise, so I need to escape from the scene. I know here is uh, one city watch guy. I heard his voice. I'm gonna throw his body to the river. See the reports, nice. We need to be careful. Okay. Time to check out the situation. There's some one city watch guy, there's a second one. There's a couple more. Oh shit. They have found me. the one way to deal with these guys. I don't know what those tall boys are shooting at. It appears to be that they are trying to... What? Oh yeah, they are trying to shoot at the Piero's warehouse, I guess. Okay, my health situation is it's not bad. Let's read the letter from Emily. Okay. It p appears to be that Emily has been taken. By who? Yeah, it's the... Shit. I don't know, no. Any, I don't remember what I was talking about in the couple of minutes ago. Something about Emily, I would say. Havelock's order to the guard. It appears to be that it appears to be that the Havelock has been taken over this city. Hold on, I need to take s si one sip from my coffee. Ah, oh, nice. Right. We are maxed bullets. Okay, yeah. It appears to be that the my former ally, the Ad Admiral Havelock, or I would say Lord Richard Havelock, has been taken over. I cannot take down that City Watch officer, so I'm gonna get inside it his head and kill him silently over here. Oh. 
it didn't work. As Lord Regent, I hereby claim the titles of Grand Admiral, Fleet, and Supreme Commander of the Combined Armies of the Empire. Oh, shit! going man okay everyone has okay I'm gonna show you this cool trick that I learned Hold on. like that you can easily take down these guys. This is so fun. Oh. Damn. Oh. I can walk around inside this guard's mind. Like that, it's easy to take down these guys. Where is his, where is his head? Hold on, I need to find this guy's head so I can d deal with those. Oh boys. Damn. Rats. Alright. Never mind. We need to figure out something else. Nice. I have found the blueprints. So now I need to figure out the way to deal with those Tall boys. They are the toughest enemies in the in the game. Hold on. Oh. Just of course here are some battles, I guess. And now like that. I'm gonna show you this cool trick that I learned. There's one tall boy. I need to figure out how to get close without it spotting me. Like that. Easy to take down. Shit. It's so hard to take down these two boys like that every guard and tall boy has been taken care of letter to Kalista no I have been taken care of all the guards and enemies. Not in the sexiest way possible, but here we are. Not liking the look of this one bit. That party died down inside awful fast. And now they called all the staff together. They said one more package for me to deliver. But I think I'll be keeping station at a safe distance from the riverbank. Keep an eye on things for a while. That's a good idea, Samuel. Oh. 
Wallis. No to Wallis. Okay. It appears to be that Samuel. I know no Samuel, but this. I mean the Sokolov and Piero is inside this place. Refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself, which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you about the elixir. Yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prison <laughs> as you do. Sokolov and Piero is hiding under the table. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. Okay. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. <laughs> Without the arc pylon, it is only... Guards have been dispatched already. I spend weeks building a machine to do something you can do in a matter of minutes. I thank you for showing me the inefficiency of my process. Yeah, anyway. I expect that you will want to take revenge on those who wronged you. Not know where they went, but it was by water. Old Samuel would know I to wager. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. Okay, I need some stuff from you. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. Okay, new upgrade. Maybe it's useful. Okay, I need all the... Elixir, I mean spiritual remedies. You have all the bolts, all the bullets. Hold on, revive tools. Maybe we, maybe we need some more spring razors. They are always useful. Pistol, explosive shot. Bullet capacity. Bolt capacity, grenade capacity. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back to you, Piero. If I need everything. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock. Be waiting. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. True. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. No one is prepared for the what are you doing? influence of being so close to real power. Yeah. Having power is gonna corrupt you. To get your way. Everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. Thanks.
This Piero of yours, a strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old Empress would have liked that. She was a strange one. Stranger, I think, than you ever knew. But such things are past. And this new Empress, she's a strange one too. Okay. I wish you peace, Corvo, along with all the delights you can wring from the world. All right. These guys haven't has nothing to say to me anymore. General notice. All right. Well. We need to get up there to signal Samuel. Okay. I guess in the next episode we are gonna see Emily, but it's time to reach out to Samuel. Oh, and there is our old friend Samuel. you does it i saw the signal i knew you'd be back corvo i knew it we should start off soon i've been feeling something in my bones and if it's plague well i can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer yes all right guys this is end of episode 18 in the and then after that we are gonna make make one last episode of Dishonored campaign. Okay, goodbye. Good. There's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. <laughs>